Well, good morning. <clears throat> I've got myself into a little project here. I've never used one of these guys before. I picked this up at an estate sale. And the guy was in love with it. And I can tell you that because he would not budge on his price on this guy. I noticed it was missing a part um, right away. And still, there's a little, can't really see it in the video, but at the very top, very top, there's, there's a piece that goes on the top up there. Probably so you don't drop stuff down in there. This is a pretty cool heater. It's an Aladdin Blue Flame Heater. What's the part number? P, uh, P150056. <coughs> it says never use gasoline. <coughs> it's a kerosene heater. Uh, never carry around while it's lit. Don't use in a drought. Huh. That's interesting. You have to keep that in mind. Place the heater where it can't be knocked over. We're going to break that rule today. But I do have a fire extinguisher right here. Uh, don't place it where it can be knocked over. Use the heater without ventilation. Uh, burn heater when it's when the flame is yellow. It must be blue. This is a made in England. Um, pretty cool. Looks like it's got like a a mica viewing lens here. That looks fragile. This is uh, a really thick enameled metal inside and out. The stack. What's it look like underneath here? Well, it's got some sort of ventilation. It's probably sucking air up through the bottom. <clears throat> there got some feet I better make myself some room back here there okay well um, I've got some kerosene that I picked up I hope it's enough sunny side 1k grade clean burning fuel pick this up at the yard sale it's not full but hopefully it's enough to get this party started that's cool it's got a little chain on here oh i noticed this this is pretty cool too i hope this works this is the fuel gauge you lift straight up on it. I figured that out. I tried to twist it. You don't want to do that. Look at this cool thing. It's got like, uh, it's not glass, it's plastic, but it looks like that's how you're, it's dipping down in there and giving you, giving you the status of your fuel. Pretty cool. Let look down in there. It looks pretty clean. All right, I'll put that back. Oh, that's keyed. So it goes in sideways. All right, let's put back on. Um, oh, before I put that gas in there, let's take a look at the at the goods. So over here, I don't know what this is. It's a knob of some kind. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion it might have something to do with raising and lowering the uh, <clears throat> the wick. It's getting hot. So. There's a little lever right here. Flip that up. 
she tips right on over. And you can see the, the wick in here. There's the diffuser right here. I can see the wick. It looks, it looks like it's up about a quarter of an inch. And I did notice, if you pull this up, there it is yeah look at that you see the wick and I don't know how much is pushed down there in the in the kerosene or not but I'll bet you so I'm seeing two struts here I'll bet you this that's this No, it is. It doesn't seem like it's working. Let's see. Oops. Huh. That's got to be what that thing's for. And maybe this wick. No, yeah, there's some. There's definitely quite a bit of fuel down there. <clears throat> okay, oops, no. I gotta put this brass goodie back in here. Oh, half turn, locks it in place. Put this in here. Now let's put the fuel in. Probably is a rule, never fuel on your work bench. But I do it all the time. I have a fire extinguisher and lots of uh, prevention things down here below me. I would not do this if I were you. I'd take it outside. That's what normal people would do. Not much in there. I hope that's enough. Okay. Alrighty. Set that out of the way. Now, I imagine it's going to take a little bit for that. soak up up there is my guess. I wonder if I shouldn't have saved some and dabbed it around the edge. <clears throat> I still could. I still could do that. Except that I'd used all my my goodie. Let me see if I can find some more. Hang on. All right, I'm back. Couldn't find any more. They do have this handy dandy little gizmo WD-40 tip <clears throat> stuffed into a, a syringe here. I think I could suck up some of that kerosene. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Let me give it a little a little love and maybe the heat will draw that fuel up to that wick faster there you go I don't want too much in case this doesn't work and makes a mess I do want it to go all the way around. All right. That looks like it's going to work. Let me get some matches.
gets cold out here, so put my wet matches. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? That looks good. I hope it stays that way. Yeah, I like that. I like where this is going. I'll let that burn down a second and I'll come back to you. I, it just went out, so I did it again. Put some more fuel around there. I noticed that the center of this is cupped and there's a hole there. I'm wondering if you gotta put some fuel in that bowl there and get that bowl really hot. I don't know. This is starting to look pretty consistent. But it's supposed to be a blue flame. And when I close this, it kind of snuffs it out. Oh man, that heat, boy, that heat comes right on up there. Oh, I'm seeing something here. Oh, you got you want this closed? I see. All right, it's working. Let me show you. Let's see. Can you see in there? Take it down here. Take it down here. Out of the light. Oh, yeah. I don't know which way is up. There we go. Can you see in there now? Not really, huh? Kind of a glare. to see well how about down here you can see down there there you go see that flame there oh man that is warm that is seriously warm I'm pretty happy with that I wish you could see it in the little window Let me flip this around. There. Oh, yeah. That's better, right? Look at that. Now, one of the things that I did change is I fooled with this guy right here, and I have a feeling that maybe that does not raise and lower the wick. I think you have to lift that up and kind of fool with the wick manually is my guess, but I think this might have to do with how much air is being let in through the bottom. Remember when we first looked at the bottom, it looked like there was a flume underneath there? That's my guess. Um, but, I'm impressed by the amount of heat that this thing is putting off right now. Um, I guess that's why the guy didn't want to back away from 30 bucks. I'm glad I got it. If anybody has one of these tops, I'd buy it from you. It doesn't look like I need it. Maybe I can make something. Or if somebody out there has made something like that, let me know. But here it is, and I'm super happy with it. Not sure how to adjust that that wick, though. That I'll have to do some reading on that. So, anyway, well, there it is. Thank you, and have a great day.